be a unit for uh, review for test. <laughs> All right, here it comes. Let's see what we can do here. Um, this needs to go down, leaving this. All right, so here's the deal. You guys fill this in. Again, the big deal on the test. Now that these are the ones I'm going to have you focus on, but just for some of you who have retention skills, don't put that in. It's a bad choice. Excuse me. I'm trying to unplug that out of here. I'm already focusing elsewhere here. Um, dude, don't do this. Why don't I give me a chance? Yeah. You like, you like, you, all right. So this dude here, he's watching the movie over here. We know that. The big deal that you're going to have to do is wherever theta is for a degree, label your HOA for the Sokatoa. So O is over here. H is always across from the um, so we're looking from the right angle, the hypotenuse, and A is the leftover. So get your O where you watch the movie, your A, and then um, voila. The important part is what we're about to do is the calculator, not with this label. So let's see. Can I move this up without it? Um, Without it, uh, did you take it away? Good, good. All right. Can I get both? Yeah. All right. Um, at this point, you should have it labeled. Um, you have this guy here. Um, the O is over here. The A is over here. Oops. Sorry. 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 The H. Uh, the H up here, and then um, the A down here. This is the one here that's supposed to fool some of you. Here's what I'll say. Say you know how to do the normal labeling. Label them all exactly the same way. Uh, this is for the people who, won't, who will be confused here when I put the face up here, the O down here, and the A there. If you get confused of when to switch them, just put them all the same. You'll get half of them wrong, but you get half of them right. Some people get confused. They switch on this one, get this one wrong, and switch on that one, get that one wrong too. So they miss everything when really, if they would have just put it all in the same place, they would have got it right. Yes? What is that like? Um, same thing here. This guy, he's watching the movie. He can float. He is, uh, what's that guy's name? I saw him in uh, Vegas. Um, Chris Angel. Yeah, he walked down the wall. The, this building was like three stories. Like It was like this Luxor. So the theater was like, way high. And so to come in, he walks down the wall like straight. Like, clank, clank, clank. Like, I can't put my feet on the wall, but if you can imagine me walking down the wall, and then when he gets down to the ground, you know someone has to hold him up because he can't just walk down the wall. Uh, he has to stop so they can unhook him, but he doesn't stop. He hits the ground and just keeps walking. So I don't know when they unhook him, but it was amazing. I was too far away. My seats Wait, weren't good enough. <laughs> but again, this is in real life. Uh, it's Chris Angel yeah, at the Luxor in Vegas. He's still playing there, I believe. It's a show. Did you say again? He's a magician. He's like a dude. You ever see Chris Angel? No! No, not that. Like really busy. Like busy. Like or something. All right, here it comes. So this guy here, what's important is the H is always in the same spot, always across. The O is opposite where you watch the movie, and then the A. So the only two guys that switch are the A and the O. Right, of course, so I can tell one more time. Now, this isn't really the most important part that I'm trying to get for this test. The calculator part is going to be a Soka and Toa. Uh, all right. So you got that. Put in the, oh, your number's already there. So let me throw my numbers in really fast. Sign is O, Ka is A O, A H rather, Toa O A, got it, do it again. Um, sign is O H, uh, Ka, U, is, um, the numbers is what I'm going to get you to put in right now. And on your calculator, when you get your test, it's going to be a place where you're going to punch in these numbers. If you can do it um, now, you can do it a million times that way. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. So what? Uh, uh, shoot. This isn't going to be what. I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do it. Still going to do it so they can be confused. That's fine. This is a. Uh, uh, that's fine. Too fast. And okay. All right. Do me a favor. Sure. <laughs> Say it again. Uh, sign. Where are you here? Sign. I need some numbers. Oh, your OH 13 on the bottom. 13 on the bottom. 5 over 12. All right. Um, I'm going to have you guys use the inverse um, function. Inverse. I'm going to have you go backwards in a second. Sign. What are you? Sign over here. 36 over 39. How about your friend over here? Cosine. You're 15 over 39. And then your friend over here, you're 36 over 15. 
All right. Here's what I want you to do. There is a degree that when you do the sine of it, it would give you the ratio 5 over 13. Uh, there is a degree that when you do um, the 12 over the 13, uh, it would produce that ratio. But here they didn't tell us what it was. Like, well, what is this angle supposed to be? Is it like 50 degrees? Is it like 30 degrees? Like, what is that angle supposed to be? These numbers, any of these, you could tell me the answer. You could tell me the answer. You could tell me the answer if I knew what to punch in on my cup. We're going to do it together up here and then down here. You're going to do the same thing. So together, how do you find out the degree if they actually give you the two sides? You're going to go backwards here. Here comes the answer. Hit the fraction. Oh, we should do it first. Isn't it second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hit the blue um, button as in uh, second function, upper left hand corner, just like Victor said. Um, once you hit uh, blue button, light blue button, second function, you're going to hit sign. Uh, oh, mine is doing weird stuff. So let's clear that. Blue button, sign. Above sign, you'll see sign to the negative one power. We don't say sign to the negative one power. We say inverse sign or sign inverse, one of the two. Or we say arc sign. It just means do the reverse. Find out what the angle was that gave me this fraction. Well, what was the angle that gave me this fraction? What was the angle that gave me this fraction? Then you just type in the division. In other words, type in now 5 divided by 13. Hit enter. You said it's 22.2? I'll put that degree under the first box. Make sure you get the 22.6. Um, I'm, I'm going to do 5 divided by 13. 5 divided by 13. I'm, I'm going to hit enter. I got 22.6 for the first one. Do me a favor. Do it a second time. Go for the second. Really? All right, let's double check that one. Let me check. Uh, everybody put in second function, cosine. Cosine. Do 12 divided by 13, hit enter. Someone said they got the same answer, but I'm nervous about that. Did you get the same answer? Yeah, you get the same answer? Yeah, what you put? All right. Um, so yeah. Did you get that too? Don't be confused. Hit the buttons. Light blue, cosine, division. Is my name is on the board? Oh, okay. okay. It must be this long time ago, and I was trying to be a good teacher, but I couldn't do it. All right, uh, here it comes. Last one. Let's see if it does it again, because now I'm trying to think. Oh, okay, now it makes sense. Well, I'll ask out there. I know why now. Can anyone tell me why three separate problems would give you the same exact answer? Say again? They're all five. They're all five. 67.2. Oh, yeah. All right, 67.3, no big deal. Uh, Teddy you supposed to put the, the degree symbol, um, but if you didn't, of course, I'd recognize that you got it right. All right, step one, nice and easy. Let's do step two, where again, we use the calculator. All right, write down the stuff that I wrote down for this page. The sine, for someone who's not here, the sine, the cosine, the little triangle here at the bottom. Uh-huh. Give me a second. Okay, what you got? Uh, you're doing that. So, this is from today. Uh, <laughs> oh, front table. <laughs> <laughs> All right, write this stuff down. So, they want to know, hey, Thomas, how much is this opposite leg? We know that your theta is 20. <laughs> So here's what I would do. I put tan of 20 equals O over A question mark over 5. That's how I'd set it up. So if ever the, I need an opposite leg, the bottom number is always going to be 5. Oh, sure. I guess not that hard. The degree, you have that. So the one that's missing goes up there. So basically, I'm going to do tan 20 times the 5. In other words, to solve for that, put 5 over here times the tan 20. And I'll give you the answer. Hey, somebody do hit tan 20 first. All right, two sides. I need someone to do. Well, that's good because you mentioned the wall. There you go. Um, 
You're in a boat, your GPS ran out of batteries, and there's a dense fog that blocks your view of the land. You do see a lighthouse at uh, an angle of inclination of 12. Uh, 12 uh, degrees. If you know the lighthouse is 100 feet tall, um, and know it marks the beginning of the land, that way it doesn't uh, kill you what you think you can reach there. How far is land from your boat? In other words, how much is this thing here? I'm going to set this one out. You're going to have it, but again, it's not something to do. The main thing I want you to do is write that down, try to solve it. What was a tan 20? You were 20. 134. Uh, tan 40, what did you have? Remember? Uh, I'll come back to you. Tan 50, what did you have? I'm 50. Can I do what you have? 19. 19.19? Yeah. Um, 10.40, um, no? 10, 70. what did you have? Down in the corner. 2.6? 2. 2.7? 2. Uh, 80? Uh, All right. Cool. Um, we probably don't even need uh, 40 to get it, but what did you say? Point three. Point eighty. Eighty three. Yeah. yeah. What's twenty five? Uh, I think it's one. Yeah, it was one. Is uh fifty one point nine? Yeah. Okay, yeah. right, here comes, here comes, here comes. Here comes. Here's what I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you this question. Such an easy question. The students miss it. They think there's something magical about the question. It's not. It's gonna say something to the effect. What trend or pattern do you see between the degrees and the tangent? In other words, what do you notice as the um, degrees of uh, increase with the answers for tan? They go up. They go up. Uh, is there anything more specific than that, or, or is that an increase? <gasps> like, do they go by a certain amount, or no? <laughs> is, there a, is there a pattern there? Well, that's what I'm trying to say. If it's really, they just go, they just increase. As the degrees increase, uh, the um, so I'm looking for the, the sign, the figure, the, the amount of tangent increases as well. 